Uh, this is in the voice of uh, someone undergoing enhanced interrogation. The title is, I am in excellent physical and emotional health. My good friends tell me what to do, and I do it. They tell me it's time for my swimming lesson. I listen. I agree. It's good for me, they say. I listen. I obey. What choice do I have? Why should I have a choice? They say. Listen and obey. They command out of love, they say. I agree, as I must. Hold your breath, they say. I hold it for as long as I can. And I pray that my good friends will let me breathe and say what they tell me to say, as I must. My good friends will let me live for another day and let me breathe. I am in excellent physical and emotional health. This is Animal Headlines. Let's go to the videotape. After actual headlines in the New York Times, late May 2016. One, save a snake? Humans squirm over planned island colony on Mount Zion Island. Two, now displaced by gentrification, New York's feral cats. Three, versts fly at vegans in Georgia culture war. Four, TSA training dogs to stay one sniff ahead of bomb makers. Five, ice cream man uses bat to beat pretzel vendor. New alternative to adult diapers sets men free. Eagles trained to take down high-tech prey, small drones. Thai officials seized 33 tigers from a temple, have nearly 100 to go. A TSA agent rewards Hector a chocolate Labrador for detecting explosives in a man's pant leg. Zoo's killing of a rare gorilla, Harambe, holding a boy, prompts outrage. Bystander state states, it was amazing because there were moments with the gorilla, the way he held that child, it was like a mother holding a baby. Reality TV star, nominee of Free World, was asked how tough he would be on large zoo animals. 800-pound gorilla, nominee of Free World, of unpredictable rampages, upset by 400-pound gorilla, Harambe, who stole his spotlight for one holiday weekend. 800-pound gorilla, nominee of Free World, now raging once again in silverback mode, growling, glowering, dragging press around his gilded Manhattan lair. <laughs> One more. This is in the voice of Omar Mateen. Kiss, no, kill. Voice of Omar Mateen from the afterlife after slaughter of the 49. I died three days ago, maybe five, somehow, floating on a nimbus cloud. Remember, all a bit hazy. Two men kissing on driftwood over sand, drifting. Wanted to kiss, no, wanted to kill. Sun saw the kiss, stars saw the kiss, wanted to kill the sun, kill the stars. A thought, or well, someone had a thought. Go to Club of Pulse, Orlando, take your AR-15, your Glock. The Glock is your clock, it says go, you go. It was 10 on my clock, all the clocks, 10 o'clock, I hailed the cab. The cab was nervous, but not me. I was Isaiah, I was ice, I was fire. Sun had died, stars were still alive. I was ice, going to dance on fire. Going to kiss, no, going to kill, 
Brothers and Sisters, Club of Pulse, Orlando. AR-15, neatly packed in guitar case. Glock, my clock said, enter the club. Sun had died, stars were out, but not for long. I saw Manuel, wanted to kiss, no, wanted to kill. Spoke to many voices, babble a wall, break the wall, take out your toys, stop the pulse, stop the drum, tell the corpse, it's time to come. Brothers and sisters, I've come to pulse, to kiss, no, to kill you all. Wow.